Let's make sure it doesn't have me listed as playing Pac-Man again. Alright, let's update this. And everything looks like it's properly done. All right. Looks like my upload rate might be a bit low compared to what it needs to be, but we'll see. If it or fixes itself out here. Mm -hmm. All right, fellas, let me grab my models and all that good. Woo! Give you guys your, uh, daily nausea test here. Go ahead and grab some models. We'll get to work here in just a moment. Okay. Grab some stuff. Brushes. Got our paper towels. Ugh. Let's get ready to go. Alright, Sure, you guys all want to hear me banging around on the desk. Grab my drink. It's a good thing to have to. All right, let's see what we got here. I believe I left off with the Marines doing some washes. So I think that might be where I pick back up. Just washing the Marines who have not had the silver bits washed yet. Kind of on the um, downhill spiral, so to speak. Um, it's just doing the little fiddly bits and getting all the little tiny things finished and wrapped up. Um, all these little tiny details add up and it, you know, takes time. And that's what's been slowing me down. Sorry, I've got a pile of marines here and some of them have been washed and some haven't, so I'm kind of sorting. That's why you're kind of seeing me like plop of marines here. Because the ones that need wash are being put down. The ones that don't are sitting on a little table thing here. Okay. Let's find our known oil. Here we go. Give this a... A little shake. Ooh, our music's not playing. What's going on, music? Hwa, aren't you play? There we go. Okay. Let's find us a brush here. And we're just going to start by washing the things that need to be washed. All those silver bits. So we're going to get in the 
ankle joints and stuff like that. And then like the hip joints and all that stuff too. Get some wash, elbow joint. And if you have a little bit too much wash touch the armor, just clean your brush and wipe it off. There you go. I'm gonna get his gun here. Yeah, silver parts. If you touch the black here, it's not the end of the world. And if you feel like your shoulder pads were a little bit too gray, we'll just come in with a little bit of this wash over the shoulder pad. Tidy that up. Come back in and clean up where the wash went over where we didn't want it. Sorry, I got a message from the girlfriend. Sorry about that. Happy, actually, to be honest, today. I keep messing it up. Haven't been engaged very long, so keep using the wrong term. Very entertaining to watch me wash.
kind of blowing on it to get the wash to go into a, the drilled barrel recess. There we go. happy when I get to the basing portion of these is going to be the home run stretch
there was a <clears throat> a spot where wash wouldn't pool right, so just blew on it. Hey, Adaday, what's up, buddy? And hey, Chris, I'm working on your models today. How'd your uh, work game go last night? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure if I had 10,000 active viewers, I'd uh, I'd be doing something ridiculous. Have some Indian in the cupboard stuff going on. Marines coming to life or something. Whew. Hey, hey, buddy, what's going on? How'd your orcs fare yesterday? I think you said you played orcs. Awesome. And yeah, that, that new Dreadnought is slick, dude. I want to get one, but got to have money. And until I finish a project, no money. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. Speaking of, hang on one second. Let me grab something real quick. 
I sent you some Facebook photos of them, but figured since I'm here you could check them out. This is where I'm at on Sigmund. I kind of bounce back and forth between him and the infantry, so I can take a break. But this is where we are on him so far. Um, I like how his tabard turned out. I think it turned out pretty cool. I'll come in and do lightning effects on his sword before we end, and obviously his base will be done. I think once I paint his face, he's really going to pop. Um, whoops. Because it's going to give some nice contrast to all the yellow. So, I just got to get to it. Yeah, he's he's looking slick, dude. I, I like him. It's a good looking model. Um, popping him in and out of the base is a feat, but he definitely looks pretty badass. Um, let's see, you got a few other guys laying here. Um, here's your captain. He's not as far along. I need to start doing his edge highlights and stuff. But again, I've been kind of working on the infantry because once I get the infantry done, the HQs are going to take the, you know, need the extra time. So I didn't want to like do the rush work or some of the um, grunge work on them. Uh, here's your librarian. I'm going to do red on his little, um, I don't know, cape tabard thingy. I got to edge highlight the blue do all the washes and stuff so he's not as far along in and then this guy he wasn't actually on your project um, but this was like my thank you for being a badass client so you were getting Imperial Fist and you did not have a Lysander so you now have a Lysander um, I don't know if you realized that you were getting one but now you know so I've been working on him I'm gonna do this red uh, and start you know wrapping him up but again once the infantry's done the HQs will get all the extra time they need uh, what I've worked on on him so far is kind of the hammer with the um, hazard stripe tubes. I'm going to do those tubes right there red and then probably do like a little lightning effect on the end of his hammer. So. And we've got um, your centurions that are uh, pretty close to being finished. Um, last thing I was really working on them was washes and the hazard stripe tubes. So some little hazard stripes on there gun tubes and stuff yeah it looks really good um let's see worked on your your heavy bolter dudes a little bit so it's like little tubes and stuff uh, actually this guy's mostly done I just need to do his lenses his shoulder icon and I need to put a decal right here and then base him and he's finished so, just got to chug on through and keep keep on keeping on. Um, I don't know if you've seen your Vindicators. Have you seen the Vindicators since they were 99% finished? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So the only thing left on the um, vindicators is the um, Achilles, and they're finished. And that's like five minutes. It's really nothing. They turned out really good, dude. They probably look uh, on par with my vindicators or better. I always get slightly jealous when I paint models for someone and they look better than my personal models. <laughs> I'm slightly OCD with mine, but your tanks turned out pretty good. So you building the uh, the new dreadnought with the uh, assault cannon uh, and Gatling gun, or are you gonna do it with the plasma? Yep, Gatling's the way to go. You get so many dice. I'm not a big fan of the D6 or D3 shot stuff. It's why the Vindicator is complete crap. Um, a Predator with um, an auto cannon uh, or auto or um, 
bias cannon and then the side sponsons it gets way more damage consistently out than a vindicator because a vindicator is um you know d6 shots or d3 shots d6 if they are five or more models in the unit um it just doesn't do enough damage consistently a predator's better and that's the same thing in my opinion with the the dreadnoughts um plasma cannon it's like d6 shots if you roll a one you get nothing on average you're going to roll on a d6 a 3.5 or so versus the gatling cannon and the gatling gun which i think puts out 18 dice combined and you're going to hit with you know 12 of those on average and if you have a captain even next to you even more like just the the whole d6 shots thing is just so absurd because it's just not optimal now if they were cheaper if they were cheaper than the other weapons because they were random then yeah they'd be worth it but right now there's in my opinion just crappy and the other day um first time i uh, got it to happen i fired a vindicator into a unit of dudes rolled a 6 for the hits or number of shots and i was like oh yeah i rolled 5 ones and twos in one hit and um, of the ones and twos, there were like four ones, right? Four freaking ones and one two. Rerolled all the ones because I was next to my captain. Still missed all four that I rerolled. Complete stupid. I, I six hits or six shots, one hit. Rerolled four ones and still missed all four of those shots. It's so dumb. Yep. Yeah. It was stupid, and that that's why I'm f so frustrated with 40k. Um, I talked to you about it because you play. But I don't play that much because um, I deal with cheesy bullshit or, and or, mostly and, my dice rolls are really bad. It's been that way for years. Um, it's just, it's notoriously, you know, terrible. So I just kind of stopped playing a lot. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's dumb um, the way that, that uh, transpired. And I'm fine with the template change to speed up the game. However... They just, they don't adequately represent the damage. Like, flamethrowers being D6 hits, that's actually not bad because, um, you know, over the course of a game, you're going to average more hits than you normally would. You're just not going to get the spiked, you know, uh, wound rolls because you're not going to get 20 dudes under a flamer anymore. But, you know, a battle cannon and demolisher, basically most ordnance just turn into crap. You know, a D6 number of shots and the amount of damage you put out is nothing compared to Predators and just mass number of Bolter shots and stuff. It's stupid. Yep. Oh, dude, and, and see, it's funny because I have, I usually take probably two or three hundred dice to the shop, right? I have dice bags and dice cubes, and at one point I would, I would start rolling them bad, so I would just grab a different cube or a different bag and start rolling those. I stopped doing that because it doesn't matter what dice I roll. And it's funny because I'll let other people roll my dice. I don't give a shit. And they'll roll them. And I literally tell them, I say, there's no way you're going to roll worse with my dice than I do. And then they roll better than me with my dice. And then I go back to rolling them and I roll like crap. It's stupid. And for an army that were, you know revolves around a D3, or not D3, but a 3 plus to hit and a 3 plus armor save, if your average dice rolls like a two, you're not doing that good. Now, in forty or in War Machine, I still have bad dice rolls, but because you can boost and stuff, my games aren't quite as lopsided. But my old philosophy used to be, um, I might lose the game, but I'll have the best looking models on the table. That used to be my philosophy. Well, that got old. You know, after a while, it's like, well, I have the best looking models or some of the best looking models. And I'm constantly losing. So you're, you know, I'm going up against people who have bare plastic, which I, I, I play with bare plastic occasionally too. It's not a big deal. But, you know, they got bare plastic or they've only primed them. They don't even try. And then they've got like some cheesy bullshit. And I've got an army I've been slaving over. They kick crap out of me. And then I'm like, that was cool. That was fun. You know, roll like crap, and then they play Uber Cheese, and it's just like, eh. Not entertaining at all. And, and, since we're on a rant here about 8th edition. Turn 1 Assaults? Dumb. They made so many changes to 8th to try and nerf the Alpha... Ooh, sorry. Banging the camera around. 
to nerf the uh, Alpha Strike potential and the cheesy um, uh, Super Friends list and stuff like that. And then, like, Tyranids can go ridiculous distances and charge you. And I'm fine with Tyranids getting a buff, but the the distance they can cover and still charge on turn one is dumb. Um, Chaos with their Sorcerer with um, Warp Time and Deep Strike and Terminators, dumb. I had that happen to me. The guy only lost because he rolled really, really bad. Um, he rolled worse than me, and I wasn't even rolling really good. Um, but he lands next to me with 10 Terminators. Now, we were only playing like 50 points, so or 50 power. Um, so he lands next to me with 10 Terminators and a Sorcerer. One unit of Terminators has Combi Meltas, so he's going to shoot up my vehicles. And then the other unit is all melee. So his melee unit's 9 inches away from two Vindicators. And then he casts Warp Time. So now his Terminators are four inches away, which is an almost auto charge. He only has to roll a three. And I was like, uh, GG, super fucking pro. Sorry, I just dropped an F-bomb on stream. Um, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so, that's, a, yeah. See, I get that frustrated about, um, uh, crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he did that. And he's, he's a nice guy. He was playing it because he's played against some crazy stuff himself, which is fine. But... Like, you you don't have random drifting anymore, and then you land nine inches away, and then you can move five inches closer, and, like, get out of here with this turn one charge stuff. It's ridiculous. Like, that's why the old, the annihilation whatever from Space Marines, where they deep strike, or uh, deep struck in with the drop pods, and um, uh, the Assault Marines and Devastators Last Edition was so ridiculous, and everyone hated it. Because it was turn one shooting and assaulting and they would delete you. Well, you've traded that for other ways to do it, you know? It's just, ugh, stupid. Yeah, I don't know. There's some crazy stuff now that feels pretty game-breaking for me, but I, th I think the problem is... Uh, GW's game is better suited for a casual, in my opinion, fluff perspective. It just doesn't do so well when you approach it from a competitive scene because um, there's always going to be some combo or some list that's better than others, you know? And that's just where it is, in my opinion. Um, versus like War Machine where there are some armies that are better at fighting other armies, but in general the game is a, a bit more balanced, in my opinion. Um, I think 8th edition rules are better than 7th. I just think they missed an opportunity to try and fine-tune some kinks, you know? Um, so that's why I lean towards trying to play casual. Yeah. And the only reason last edition I have the stuff to run a battle company is because I was getting badgered about um, playing... Um, or, or having a more competitive list, or being able to participate in a tournament, so I bought the stuff to run a battle company, and that was all I got to add, like, I went ahead and built it, and then they changed everything, which is fine, but now I have stuff I won't use, you know, but generally I just kind of, I like to build what I like, and I play with that, you know, it's, that's why I feel like every unit should be good, and if every unit's good, then it's what you want to play, not what you have to play, and like right now for Space Marines, you basically have to play a captain or a chapter master. Um, librarians, if they aren't Tigurious, aren't really good at leading an army. You need to run like Devastators or some major shooting unit right next to your captain and just march a mass of gunfire down the field and delete everybody. Or drop pod in with them or whatever. Yep. I agree. And it's the same stuff I've been complaining about for years, man. Like, I don't like Vespid when I was playing Matal. Even if the Vespid were good, I still wouldn't have bought them because I don't like how they look. But, I've always felt Vespid and Kroot should be playable. They should be useful. Even units you don't like aesthetically should still be good, but no one ran those two units because they were crap. They made models and they didn't sell them because they sucked. Yeah, I love snipers. I mean, I like snipers before. Um, they're really good now because at least they can snipe characters. I, I don't like how they can't wound on a 4-up anymore, um, on average. You know, against a monstrous creature, you're wounding on 5s. I don't like that. 
I mean, you're a sniper. The whole reason you wounded on fours before is because it was a 50-50 a regardless and you had good shot placement. Now, you have better odds of hitting a marine and hurting him than you do a giant monstrous creature. Like, sorry, sniper rifles should have an easy time wounding the monstrous creature and a slightly harder time hurting a marine because that's a smaller hit profile, so it's a harder shot to make, you know? Yeah, and see, that's good if he likes them and wants to use them. That's great, you know? Um, but the rules, in my opinion, have not been good for so long. Like, all the lists for Tau last edition were, like, basically monster cre monstrous creature super friend spam. And the, before that, before um, the uh, Breachers came out, like, you just ran a gun line, and it was boring. That's why the Breachers were a good change, because I think the Breachers in a uh, Devilfish was so fun to play, it made Mobile Tau possible, and that was great. But if you played Vesper or Crute, you played them because you wanted to, not because they were all that good, you know? And that's terrible. They should be good. If I don't use Crute, it should be a personal choice, you know, not because they suck, you know what I mean? But they made the choices for a lot of players because they put out stuff that sucked. And, you know, it makes sense from a business perspective, sort of, because the good models are going to...